a beginner's guide to gelato print on demand. Now, this video is going to be a complete step-by-step -step tutorial. I'm going to show you everything you need to know, including what gelato is and how it works, how much money you can make, and how you can even get started making money with gelato print on demand as soon as today. So, if you are interested in making money on gelato and learning how it works, then keep watching as this is going to be the most valuable video you ever watch. Now, if we come over to the Gelato main screen right here, like this is before you sign into your account, you will be taken to this screen and they give you a quick overview of what this website is and how it works. So they say print on demand products, production in 33 countries and thousands of online stores connect to Gelato for customized items produced locally and delivered within an average of 72 hours. So effectively what Gelato is, is they provide all of these options right here. So like t-shirts, hoodies, mugs, phone cases, and um, photo frames right here. And you basically upload your design to Gelato and they will print it on different t-shirts and things that you can sell online. Now, the awesome thing about Gelato, guys, and this is what a lot of people don't realize, is that you don't actually have to buy anything or pay any money until somebody actually orders your t-shirt. So let's say, for example, that we are selling this t-shirt right here. It's always coffee time. All we would have to do is upload this design right here. It is absolutely free to upload designs. And then we would go out online, maybe list this on Etsy, on eBay, on Amazon, and on a bunch of other websites. And then when somebody would come along and buy this t-shirt, we would then place an order on Gelato and send it directly to them. So basically we do not pay anything until we have definitely made the sale. And that is what is so awesome about this website. So they talk a little bit about integrations right here. So you can integrate this with WooCommerce, Etsy, Shopify, Squarespace, and Wix. So that is very, very awesome. And we will talk about this later in the video. But if we then go ahead and load up my Gelato account right here, this is what you really came for. And this is the step-by-step -step tutorial on how to use this website. So you can see down the left hand side, we have a few options right here. Uh, things like the home, which is where we can see everything. And we have product catalog. So right here, this is where we can go ahead and choose what we would like to design. And there is a lot of things on here, guys. <laughs> and I mean a lot of things. So we have men's clothing right here. We can choose from hoodies, organic, sportswear, long sleeve shirts, shirts, tank tops. Same for women's clothing as well right here. And we have kids and baby clothing. We have phone cases in all of these different types. Wall art in all of these different types. We even have like aluminium print right here. Foam print posters with hangers and a bunch of other things. Uh, wallpaper, this is just pretty standard, but you can choose the material. We also have mugs, photo books, cards, calendars, stationery, tote bags, and a bunch of other things down here. So when I say like the amount of options that you can get with this website is absolutely ridiculous. I really mean it guys. And I don't think I have ever seen a print on demand website with a wider variety of items than Gelato. So that is the product catalog. Uh, we can then come over to the orders right here. And this is effectively where you can add your orders in. It's going to show you how many orders you have, if the, who the customer is, the date, destination, payment, everything like that. So I will show you an, an example of an order once we have once we have everything else set up, uh, but in this ex but in this section, so we can then go to stores right here, and this is where we can integrate this with different uh, websites. And you can see there's a lot of options. We have Shopify, Etsy. <laughs> you know what, guys? I'm not going to list all of these, but you can see right here that there is a bunch. Some you wouldn't even expect. We even have Amazon here and an absolute ton of options. So once again, I will show you as well how to connect all of these up. Uh, analytics right here, very self-explanatory. We can just see like orders. Uh, sold products, how much it's going to cost, and all of that good stuff. This is the Gelato subscriptions area. So if you would like to upgrade your account once you have been using this for a while and you really understand how this works, you want to cut down on shipping costs and everything like that, like free global shipping for £75 a month. Definitely not worth it as a small store, but once you start growing and maybe get to a point where your shipping costs are like $100 a month, then it might be a good idea to upgrade your account. We then have the billing area over here where you can change currency and everything like that. Settings area where we can tweak everything about the business. And that is basically a quick overview of how this all works. So let's take a deeper dive into this and let's actually go and create a product. So to do this, I'm going to go to the product catalog and what should we, what should we create here guys? Hmm. Let's just create a standard shirt, okay? 
and we can go for t-shirt and once again <laughs> just look at this guys the amount of options that you have on this website is pretty crazy uh, what I like to do when it comes to this is I just like to go for the cheapest option as by going for the cheapest option it allows you to list your product for the cheapest price while still keeping a very nice profit margin so you can see that this shirt is only going to cost us seven dollars seven pounds sixty six so anything that we make on top of this, maybe we sell this for £15 and keep a £7 difference. You can basically choose whatever price you like, but that is just something to keep in mind. So let's go ahead and go into start designing. And this is where we can now go ahead and create the design. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull up one of my print on, on demand designs that I have already made. So this is one that I created earlier. It is It just says pizza party right here. And what we can do is we can basically drag this out. And you can see that this design is now on this t-shirt. Now what we can also do guys is once this is added, uh, we can also design the front and back. So that is something to keep in mind. But as I was saying, once that is added, we can also add some text, uh, layouts, settings, basically a bunch of things right here. But once that is added, we can also then go ahead and add a bunch of other options here. So we can take a look at how this looks on all of these other colors right here. And I actually quite like the look of this on the black. We can then choose a size right here. And once you have done that, once you have selected everything, we can click on save. And just like that, this product is now saved. Now, because that is saved, guys, if we now come over to this orders area, we can see that it shows up right at the top here. This is the pizza party shirt. And all we would need to do is this says £7.66. So that is very, very cool. So £7.66 right there. Then all we would need to do is open up these images. And we can see that there is one, two, three images down here. So all we are going to do is go ahead and save these. And then we can use these images to go and list this product on websites like Amazon. Etsy is a very, very good one for gelato. And as I said, we can just use these images to promote the product and get sales. Now, once we start getting sales on websites like Etsy, for example, let's say we listed this t-shirt right here for £15. Somebody orders it on Etsy and they give us £15. From here, we spend £7.66, ship that item directly to them, and then we keep the difference, which is, I think, around about £7. But <laughs> My maths is very, very bad. So that is like a basic overview on how you can like create products and all of that good stuff. Now, another very, very important thing is going over to the stores and actually connecting this up to these stores. So if we just go with Shopify right here, it's going to take us over to Shopify. And if I just go ahead and log in with my account, it's going to take us over to Shopify and we can just click on add app. And just like this, we should be adding this application right here. Install the app and boom, look at that guys. You have successfully connected your store. Uh, how would you like to import? Definitely do this automatically. And then we can go through and create new products. And now because this is actually connected to a store, we can not only go through and design this we can also add prices details and everything like that so let me show you once again guys i will just go and create this same design okay we can see that it's right here and now instead of just having to collect one look at this we can select all the sizes this is available in we can select it to be available in all of these colors and once that is done we can click continue to mock-ups and this is going to generate a bunch of mock-ups in all of these different colors with a bunch of different people wearing them and this is what we can use to advertise this on things like instagram tiktok facebook and we are going to get a lot of sales with this method so from here we can just pick the standard image or the standard one that we will go with which i think is going to be black just like this main product image and then we can go continue to details add in a title and a description right here and then we can go continue to prices and finally right here guys we can go ahead and add in these prices for the sizes and for each of the colors right here so you just want to go through and edit these so maybe we want to set this to 15 dollars uh, 15 pounds sorry and then all we'd have to do is go through and paste this into all of these once that is done guys once you have all of your prices set and you are happy with how this looks we can go ahead and click publish up here. That is going to go through and publish to your store. And that is basically a complete step-by-step -step tutorial on how you can use Gelato Print On Demand. Now, if you found this video valuable, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, guys, take it easy.